Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and use Team Viewer. There are two different versions for your Android device. One that allows you to connect up to a computer remotely. One that allows computers to remotely connect up to your Android device like I've got right here to work with the system. Okay, in order to get TeamViewer, the first thing you need to do is go to your apps and find your Google Play Store. Once you find the Play Store, click on the little search button up there in the top left hand corner and then all you're going to do is punch in team viewer and then on the keypad hit the little search icon down there in the lower right hand corner you can hit the one that's up there at the top And you see the two that's right there. You have Team Viewer for Remote Control and then Team Viewer Quick Support. You're actually going to want both of those. The Team Viewer for Remote Connection is the one that allows you to connect out to a different system. The Team Viewer for Quick Support allows the connection to the phone from the computer. So once you finally get those downloaded and installed, If you're used to using TeamViewer on the PC, well, for one, you'd be familiar with that little icon right up here in the top corner. For my connection to this one, you can see the TeamViewer icon right there with the dual arrows. But for the connection to an outside system, it's going to look a lot like on the PC. The only difference is, is you'll have full control over that system from your mobile device. So you can actually work on a mobile device from your mobile device or you can work on a full-blown computer system from your mobile device. You can see I also have a third one installed on this that's the TV meeting. That's the Team Viewer meeting app part of it which is used for like the meeting part on the PC version. But I'm gonna fire up Team Viewer and show you what that looks like and it works very much the same as it does on the computer. So you're right here, as for the Team Viewer ID, that's going to be the partner's ID from the other system that you're going to take control of with this one. You put in the ID. Once you put in the ID and it attempts the connection, then it'll come up for the password. And as soon as you put in the password, it's going to come up and it's going to have the full screen of the system right there on your phone. You use your finger just to scroll around with the mouse, click on icons, do whatever you need to do. And it closes out very much the same way as it does on the PC you just pull this little bar down up here and you can see you have the file transfer option you have the chat option audio video you have the view there's your actions and right there's your little close button so it's very much identical to the PC version except for you're running it entirely on a mobile device to remote work on a friend's computer system or if you have someone ask you for help, you can get them to install TeamViewer, be able to get in there, help them out. And it doesn't matter if you're at home or if you're out and about. If they need help real quick, you can just pull it up, snap right in, and you're good to go. It's also good for checking on your own computer at home if there's something you need to do real quick and you forgot and you're out and about and you got your phone with you. Hey, guess what? If you have that password set up to where you have any time access to your computer from TeamViewer, you can put in those numbers put in that anytime password get in there take care of whatever you need to knowing that you're not at home but you have the ability to do it you can take care of it say there's an important document you need to email something you need to do along those lines you can take care of it really quick without having to run home to do it this information is out there for absolutely everybody if you know anyone that would actually benefit from this video by all means feel free to show them how to get to the videos share the link whatever you need to do. And as always, watch, like, and share. Have a good day.